Satoshi Nakata retired from football this year at the age of 29, he left behind a career which had opened the world's eyes to Japanese soccer. He became the first Japanese player to achieve success with top European clubs in Italy and England. His passion for the sport was roused at an early age. When I was a small, like uh, eight years old, seven, eight years old, you know, in Japan there is a famous cartoon you know, manga. It's called Captain Tsubasa. It's about the football. I, I guess most of the kids that time, I think everybody read. Of course, I was uh, one of them and I liked it. I was very interested in the football. He was forced to choose between his love of football and the more popular sport of baseball. Baseball team was a more strict, you know, you have to cut your hair, or, you know, you have to train more. So that's why maybe I chose a football more like a easily. One of the first to appreciate his talent was football executive Junji Ogura, who assumed a father figure role as Nakata developed from the youth and Olympic squads to the senior national team. He was as a player training hard, but at the same time he always leading the, for the how the game will be going. This is his genius, he's a player, his talent. So that's why he became a good midfield player. Nakata's talent began to attract interest from Europe and he moved to Italy to play for great top clubs, winning new fans through both his performances and his efforts to absorb European culture. Commercially, he was phenomenally successful. I mean, tourism to Perugia from Japan soared. Uh, at one point, I think his shirt was the second most sold shirt in the world after Ronaldo. We hope uh, thousands of Japanese people buy his shirt more because we'll get some royalties off that and uh, that would be very nice. And the expectations got bigger and bigger. He had more and more to live up to. And um, I think it was more and more difficult for him. Yeah, people thought he was going to be the player who could carry the whole Japan team on their shoulders. He's not that kind of player, or at least he didn't turn out to be. Six months before the World Cup, Nakata made a secret decision to retire after the tournament in Germany. His career ended with defeat to Brazil, and a player renowned for showing little emotion, breaking down in tears on the pitch. Personally, I don't understand why I did that, but uh, you, usually, I can manage, I can control myself very well. I think the biggest reason why I decided to quit is I cannot play, I cannot do the performance the other people expect. Nakata will be remembered as the first great Japanese player in Europe. And I also think he'll be remembered as somebody who always left you wondering, is this it? Because I don't think there's any question that he never fulfilled his potential. But possibly he will come, say, after for the two or three years for the uh, absence, possibly he will be back again to the football field uh, as a coach or a administrator or some committee member. I expect he will be back to again to the football field, yes. I don't think I can be a commentator. I'm very strict. <laughs> and uh, I don't think I would, I would be a coach, but maybe in the future, I would like to do something with the football as I got many things from football. I think it's fair to, you know, do something. Nakata announced his retirement on his website, which he's used for years to communicate with his fans. He turned to the internet after complaining that the Japanese media misrepresented his interviews. Of course, anything I say, it's like kind of news. Sometimes, you know, they don't write what I said. They change sentence, words. So it's better not to talk too much. That's why I try to keep myself inside and try not to show my emotion because then they can write anything. Because if I'm very, you know, simple, boring person, what they can write about nothing. I care if people, you know, care 
about me as a person, but they pay attention because I'm famous. That's something I don't, I don't like. I never like walked around in the city because、uh, I have to care about paparazzi or people around. But now I don't, I don't mind. I just go walk around. Nakata's new sense of freedom is even more pronounced as he travels around Asia, wandering around night markets and sampling street foods in the Taiwanese capital Taipei. One week, trekking along the Great Wall of China. The next, his love for exploring new places began with football. その背景やそうしたものを知るような旅を一度もしたことがないサッカー場があるところしか行ったことがないっていうんですね。That's why I'm traveling, so I can do anything. I can be anything. So sounds like very nice, huh? My life. In part three, the Nakata sense of style extends from football to fashion and leads to an offer of a new career.